Hello everyone, welcome to Afro News South Africa. Please kindly support this channel by subscribing, liking and sharing our videos. Do not forget to click on the bell icon to get our latest videos. Thank you. The South Africans have been complaining about some of the sectors that employs more foreign nationals than the locals. Some of the government officials begins to feel the pinch of employment of the foreign nationals over the locals. Many security agencies are known to be preferring the foreign nationals over the locals. These foreign nationals are at times without the proper documents to be and to work in South Africa. It looks like it doesn't make sense when it is uttered by the ordinary South Africans, who are the ones who are suffering the most. This is one of the reasons why half of the South African youth is unemployed. The private companies are distorting the labor and employment laws that has never happened. That half of the population, especially youth, is unemployed. The former mayor of Ikurhuleni Messina claims that the premier of Gauteng has brought huge number of foreign nationals, whom he referred to as thugs to the ongoing African national. Congress conference in Gauteng Messina claims that they had to protect their members against the unfair and heavy-handed security officers who are foreign nationals he went on to say the conference had turned into a complete war zone after the members seemed to be not getting along with each other thus manhandled by the foreign nationals. The South African labor and employment laws are a complete propaganda and a useless set of legislations that was never implemented there are foreigners all over the economic sectors, including in the informal sector even the politicians are accused of hiring the foreigners in their companies the politicians never saw the employment of foreign nationals as a problem now that they begin to feel the pain of millions of South Africans who are living in the townships. It has always been easy for the people who are living the lavish lives in the South African finest cities to criticize the poor people who are enduring the pressure brought about by the millions of unruly foreigners in their communities. 